Hello, how to solve for x in this equation a to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x is equal to 120 solution. We have 8 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of s is equal to 120. Now, 8 to the power of s can be written as 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x minus these two to the power of x is equal to 120. Take note of this that if you have a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. Then this can be written as 2 to the power of x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of x is equal to 120. Let 2 to the power of x is equal to u. Then from here we have u to the power of 3 minus u is equal to 120. Then this is u to the power of 3 minus u minus 120 is equal to 0. But 120 is equal to 24 multiplied by 5. Then we have minus u. This is equal to minus 25 u plus 24 u. That will give you minus u. Then, and of course, we know that 25 is equal to 5 squared. So we are going to need this. Then from here, we have u to the power of 3. Now let's replace minus u by minus 25u plus 24u. This is minus 25u plus 24u minus 120 is equal to 0. Then here, u is common. Let's bring it out. We have u bracket u square minus 25 plus here is 24 bracket we have u minus 5 is equal to 0 then if you look at this this can be written as we have u bracket u square minus 5 square plus 24 bracket u minus 5 is equal to 0. Take note of this that if you have a square minus b square, this is equal to a plus b bracket a minus b because this is in the form of perfect square. Then we have u bracket u plus 5 bracket u minus 5 plus 24 bracket u minus 5 is equal to 0. Now if you look at this, you can see that u minus 5 is common here and it's common here. Let's bring it out. We have u minus 5 bracket. If you divide this by u minus 5, we have u bracket u plus 5 then if you divide this by this we have plus 24 is equal to 0 then here we have u minus 5 bracket bracket u times u this is u square plus u times 5 this is 5 
u plus 24 is equal to 0. Now here we have u minus 5 is equal to 0, which is the first case. And we have second case, which is u squared plus 5u plus 24 is equal to 0. And from the first case here, u is equal to 5. This is the first value of u. Let's consider here. Then from here, we can make use of quadratic general formula. That is, then here, u is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of d over 2a. Or here, we have minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Where d is equal to b square minus 4ac, which is discriminant. Then from this equation, a is equal to 1, b equal to 5, c is equal to 24. Then d is equal to b square minus 4ac. Then we have 5 square minus 4 multiplied by a is 1 multiplied by c is 24. Then this is equal to 5 squared. This is 25 minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 24. Then this is 96. D is equal to 25 minus 96. That is minus 71. And as you can see, this minus 71 is less than 0. So here, no real solution here. Because it's going to give us complex solution, so it is rejected. The only solution we have is u is equal to 5. This is the ray solution we have. Recall that. Two to the power of s is equal to u. Now, two to the power of s is equal to five. Let's take the log of both sides. Log two to the power of s is equal to log five. Take note of this that if you have log p to the power of m, this is equal to m log so here we have x log 2 is equal to log 5 now let's divide both sides by log 2 divided by log 2 is divided by log 2 this will cancel this note that if you have log a over log b this is equal to log a base b and this is equal to s is log 5 base 2 and this is the final answer we can check to confirm if this answer is right or wrong let's check to check we have the given equation a to the power of s minus 2 to the power of s is equal to 120. Now, when a s is log 5 base 2, we have a to the power of log 5 base 2 minus 2 to the power of log 5 base 2 must be equal to 120. Now take note of this that if you have a to the power of log c base b, this is equal to 
see then to the power of log a base b therefore this can be written as 5 to the power of log 2 this 8 can be written as 2 over 3 2 to the power of 3 base 2 minus this is 2 to the power of log 5 base 2 must be equal to 120. Here, 2 to the power of 3 is this 8, and here is this 5. Also, if you have log b to the power of a base b, this is equal to a. And then if you have a to the power of log b base a is equal to b. Therefore, this can be written as 5 to the power of 3 minus the whole of this is 5 must be equal to 120. Then 5 to the power of 3, this is 125 minus 5 must be equal to 120. Now we have 125 minus 5, this is 120 is equal to 120, which is true. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Bye.